Okay, so here's a question for you. Do, do you ever open up your refrigerator and then just stand there staring at it like, what am I going to make? <laughs> what am I going to do for dinner? There are probably things you have in your refrigerator at all times, and there is no shortage of delicious things you can make with them. Joining us today with a few ideas is Chef Steve Konopelski from Turnbridge Point B&B. &B. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this you afternoon. for having me back. I'm really, really grateful to be here. And on behalf of everyone at home, I'd like to thank you for not droning on too much with Ooh, that. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we making today? Well, when I opened up the refrigerator, I found an onion, there was a bell pepper, some celery. Um, your freezer had corn and lima beans. Mm -hmm. And usually everybody's got a package of lima beans that they bought like six years ago. And it's kind of <laughs> hiding in the back of the freezer. Oh, and yeah. Not really sure what to do with it. And there's some bacon and some shrimp. And I was thinking, OK, um, you know, let's uh, let's put together a succotash. OK. Um, which is, you know, basically, it's got to have corn and beans in it to be a succotash. Otherwise, you can kind of riff on the other vegetables. Hmm. So right now, what we've got is I've sweat some onions, some celery, and the bell pepper. So this is like a traditional. Uh, Trinity if you're doing you know real southern cooking okay um, and we sweat it which is we don't want it to caramelize we don't want it to have color mm -hmm. we want it to be so this has been sitting on here about 15 minutes at a really low heat just kind of mellowing itself out okay and to that we're gonna add um, some of our corn which I sauteed off a little bit earlier because um, it was frozen corn so I right, just right. throw frozen corn right in, in there here. okay and uh, the same thing with our lima beans, and I did the exact same thing to that. And these are kind of nice big ones. I, yeah. I really like lima beans. I do too. Um, you know, I think they shouldn't be hiding in your freezer no. as much as they mm -hmm. are. And then uh, the good stuff, which is some bacon. bacon. Oh, it's good. You and know, that was sitting in front of Jimmy the whole time. Bacon makes everything better, <laughs> doesn't it? It does. Um, so we're just going to kind of stir this together okay. and uh, let it all marry and just sort of come together. I'm going to throw the heat up a little bit okay. higher on that. So that's just going to be another, you know, 30, 40 seconds, something like that, letting everybody sort of let it heat up, letting it heat up and come mm -hmm. together. Like I said, the corn was already cooked, right. the lima beans were already cooked, the bacon's already cooked. So essentially, we're basically done okay. at this point, and we okay. can jazz it up a little bit. I threw a little old bay in there yes. just for you know, why not? Why not? Because uh, everybody's got that in their pantry. Yes. And um, then I was thinking, well, what do we want to put this? on you okay. know this by itself is just like a great little side dish um, you can even serve it cold which I have seen before it's kind of a nice little picnic salad right. sort of thing you know you can take leftover succotash and throw some leftover pasta into it and a little um, vinaigrette and all of a sudden you've made like a pasta salad so you kind of repurposing repurposing um, but I wanted to make a polenta. Okay. And everybody's got cornmeal in their mm -hmm. pantry yep. you don't need to go out and buy something specially labeled polenta because okay. polenta is not actually an ingredient. It's the Italian word for like a slurry or kind of um, like a porridge. Oh, okay. So you can make it with, uh, you know, grits. You can make it with uh, cream of wheat. Mm -hmm. You can make it with sort of any kind of thing. It's some a creation. So this is it's, corn. it's a creation, exactly. So this we, is cornmeal. It's cornmeal okay. and I cooked it. I, I boiled some chicken stock, mm -hmm. added um, you know, just about a half a cup of cornmeal, stir it, bring it to a boil, and let it sort of simmer down. Okay. Um, and thicken up slightly, but you don't want it to be like oatmeal. Right. You want it to still kind of be soft and gooey. And then we finished it off with a, a good healthy dollop of sour cream. Okay. Because, um, you know, that's the deliciousness. And what I want to do is, I'm actually going to throw some of the succotash into the polenta and then I'll just get you to kind of stir that around, stir that around. and what's that what that's going to do is it's just going to give a little more body okay. and texture to the polenta some people are sort of off put with polenta because you know it's a porridge and it feels a little baby foodish mm -hmm. maybe um, this way we're going to have a little bit more texture to it and okay. then we needed a protein and there was the shrimp in there. The shrimp. Yes. I can't believe we so had shrimp in I'm there. The shrimp. <laughs> I'm the shrimp compared to this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> we do this every time. Yeah. I don't know why. So, uh, I roasted them off. Okay. And at Turnbridge Point, um, we do a, a monthly brunch, which we're actually sold out until September, if you Good can job. believe that, which is really very exciting. That's awesome. um, new dates arriving daily, so check turnbridgepoint.com uh, to um, you know register for brunch. Okay. So we've um, got to get this together here. Right. So what we did is we just roasted the shrimp in the oven mm -hmm. five minutes to 350, and then when it comes out of the oven hot, you take half an orange and squeeze over the top. Interesting. And so the warm shrimp's gonna soak up the orange juice and it's gonna make it taste a little bit sweeter. So it's gonna make this shrimp that's been in the freezer taste like it just came out of the ocean. Okay. So that it's fresh caught. All right. Okay? Um, so I just wanna heat them up a little bit more. Do we have some time still? What are? Uh, we got about a minute. We got about a minute. So okay. we're not gonna heat them up. It's fine, <laughs> they're cold, who cares? 
somewhere there is a cafeteria lady who is missing her spoon. Uh, and we, it's, it's here. Um, Sorry so about that. We wanna, and she never would have known had you not brought known it up. Had, we not, had I not brought that up. So, kind of rustic style here, because this is very comfort food. Mm -hmm. We've got some of our nice chunky polenta there. Okay. I'm going to put a little of our succotash on top of that. Mmm. It smells delicious. It does. It really does. And then we would take our shrimps. They're not hot, but I, you know, you guys are going to eat this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I don't want to touch it with my hands. Okay. And we'll just put a few of those on there like that. So now if you're having like a dinner party, two or three shrimp, a little, little bit of the polenta and a little bit of the succotash, that's a nice little appetizer. Or just go healthy portion. Okay. And now we have like a, an, an entree. All right. And well, that's sort of this. it. And if you would like the wow. recipe, send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to our website, DillMarverLife.com, or give us a call, 443-880-9116. And with that, it is time to dig in. Thank what do you, you say? Thank you so much. Mm, thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you guys for having me. I, I can't believe um, you made me work so hard. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Mm. Broke a sweat and everything. Mm. Mm. It's right, it's right here. That is delicious. That is terrific, isn't it? It tastes like home. It does. It's comforting, you mm -hmm. know. Sometimes you're I like, and, so and this is like really from start to finish a half an hour. Steve, thank you so much for coming in today.